We have an AMD sighting. Welcome to DevKit Weekly, where this week we'll be reviewing the AMD Ryzen 1000 series powered GHF51 development kit from DFI. Well, as you can probably guess by me being on our usual set, here in Arizona, USA, COVID-19 quarantine restrictions have been lifted, uh, for better or for worse. I hope that you and yours are holding it together uh, during the pandemic, staying safe, healthy, and hopefully happy to an extent at least. Speaking of happiness, AMD fans are going to love this week's kit. The GHF51 is purportedly the smallest single board computer to sport the Ryzen embedded R1000 SoC, and it measures in at 84 millimeters by 55 millimeters. That makes this little guy Raspberry Pi sized, but unlike the Raspberry Pi, the GHF51 is an industrial grade prototyping platform. The robustness of the DFI GHF51 begins with the processor, which is the aforementioned AMD Ryzen R1000 embedded series platform announced in the first half of 2019. The 14 nanometer Ryzen R1000 series platforms integrate two AMD Zen CPU cores with up to four threads, alongside three of the company's Vega GPUs in a single chip solution that sports TDPs of 25 watts all the way down to just six watts. The graphics performance of R1000 Ryzen SoCs and built-in 4K encode and decode functionality H.265, VP9, and so on, allow the GHF51 to drive as many as three 4K displays simultaneously, which makes this SBC a great starting point for prototyping rich multimedia applications such as industrial HMIs, digital signage, medical imaging, gaming, etc. The Ryzen architecture also includes AMD's secure processor, a cryptographic coprocessor that encrypts data before transmitting it over I.O. channels, as well as secure boot and one-time programmable memory to help maintain the integrity of production quality system designs. It also doesn't hurt that the embedded SOCs are backed by a 10-year lifecycle guarantee from AMD. Elsewhere on the board, you have eight gigabytes of single channel uh, DDR4 Samsung memory over here, uh, 32 gigs of uh, Samsung, SanDisk EMM MC flash here and down below you'll notice this uh, little Intel i uh, 211AT Ethernet controller which comes in really handy because on the flip side of this board um, you'll see that this uh, there's an IRJ45 jack which brings out gigabit Ethernet. Moving right along down the side of the board, uh, we also have this USB 3.1 Gen 2 port, uh, a couple of micro HDMI ports for connecting said displays, uh, this UART for debug, a mini PCI here for additional uh, networking or expansion, 8-bit um, DIOs here, and this 12-volt uh, uh, DC terminal block for power. Um, also hidden right here is Winbon Spy Flash, which helps, of course, with flashing the BIOS. With that said, now is probably a good time to mention uh, that Windows 10, IoT, and 64-bit Linux environments are what you can expect from an operating system perspective uh, with the DFI SPC. Another cool feature of the GHF51 is this back battery terminal, um, and that actually, along with this uh, coin cell that comes with the board, um, can be used to make sure that the device retains um, enough power to save basic settings if for some reason the main power supply is lost. Um, rounding out the features on the back side of the SBC, there's some uh, SM bus uh, pins provided here. The GHF51 supports operating temperatures of negative 20 degrees Celsius to 70 degrees Celsius, and if things get a little too hot on board, uh, DFI has included this cool heat spreader. Um, a board utility disc, power supply, and additional cables are also included um, with this kit. All in all, this DFI development SBC offers a low barrier to entry for engineers looking to interact with the Ryzen series processors, which are the first AMD processors that truly attack the embedded market with a nice mixture of performance per watt and graphics per dollar in quite, quite some time. And if the R1000 platforms aren't enough performance for you, uh, fortunately, they are pin compatible with AMD's V1000 uh, series devices that are the next level up, um, so you can migrate easily to those. But regardless of where your design takes you, uh, DFI's ODM services can help migrate from prototype to production uh, using whatever hardware components or form factors, IOs, etc., that you need. If you're interested in learning more about the GHF51, check out the URL on your screen or purchase it directly from DFI for 333 simoleons. 
Or if you're strapped for cash in these uncertain times, take a shot at this week's raffle and you just might be able to win this one for free. Uh, anyway, it's good to be back and I'd like to quickly thank Associate Editor Perry Cohen for filling in uh, for me on those last couple quarantine editions and you can expect to see him back next week. Until then, good luck in this week's raffle and stay healthy, stay happy, stay safe. We'll see you next week on DevKit Weekly.